Welcome to the Win Streaks preview and prediction of all 32 NFL teams for the upcoming 2017 season. Over the next few weeks, I will be covering all 32 teams, so please subscribe on YouTube or the podcast platform you're listening on so you don't miss an episode. My name is Corey Foister. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Corey Foister. Follow on social media, Twitter at Winstreak News, Facebook.com slash The Winstreak, TheWinstreak.com. Leave a review and subscribe on the podcast platform you're listening on. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, that is Soaring Jets Production. If you're listening right now on YouTube, uh, let me know, drop me a comment below, and let me know what you think the Raiders are going to do this season. Contact us at either SoaringJetsProductions at gmail.com or thewinstreak.com slash contact. Join our Fantasy Football League. You can find out more information about that on our Facebook and on thewinstreak.com. Top 10 Super Bowl matchup we want to see is now live. You can find out more information about that stuff on our website as well. And also, if this is the first time you've listened to anything from The Win Streak, we do a weekly wrap-up show. Me and my co-host, Brandon Myers, we have a great time. We talk all things sports, football, baseball, basketball, hockey, soccer, college sports. It's really a fun time to do. We enjoy it. Uh, Hopefully you'll laugh with us and not at us, but today I am doing episode number 26, almost at the very end of my 32 team preview. We're doing the 2017 Oakland Raiders preview and prediction. This will be the Oakland Raiders 58th season overall in the NFL, the 24th season since returning to Oakland. This is the third season under head coach Jack Del Rio. Raiders fell just short in 2016 at winning their first AFC title game or title since 2002. General manager is Reggie McKenzie and the owner is Mark Davis, of course, the son of legendary Al Davis. Just win, baby. The Raiders will play a game in Mexico City this season. They did so in 2016 as well. Last year, they played the Texans in Mexico City. This year, they will play the New England Patriots in Mexico City. Raiders will leave for Las Vegas in two or three seasons, depending on when the stadium will be built and ready for the Raiders in Las Vegas. Raiders finished 12-4 in 2016, good for second in the AFC West. Highlights how tough it is in the AFC West uh, with the Denver Broncos. Even the Chargers are not, I guess you could say, there might be the Browns of the AFC West, but they're still a lot tougher than the actual Browns. Derek Carr got injured during Week 16 game against the Indianapolis Colts. Carr would miss the rest of the season, including the playoff game. Cook would play in the playoff game. Raiders lost that wild card game to the Houston Texans, 27-14. Seven Pro Bowlers in 2016. Raiders have a lifetime record of 456 wins, 401 losses, and 11 ties. In the playoff, the Raiders are 25-19. and 19. 14 Raiders are in the Hall of Fame. They were the Los Angeles Raiders from 1982 to 1994. The Raiders won an NFL championship in 1967. They won three Super Bowls, 1976, 1980, and 1983. They have four conference championships, 1976, 1980, 1980. 83 and 2002 of course in 2002 they would lose to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that was coached by head coach and overrated I say football guru um Jay Gruden or John Gruden my bad (laughs) not Jay Gruden well Jay Gruden might be overrated as well 15 division championships 22 playoff appearances overall The fan base is well known, the Black Hole and Raiders Nation. Raiders lost two home games and two road games in 2016. 
And they finally lived up to the hype because two years ago in 2015, people were saying this is finally the year that the Raiders are going to get over the hump. Obviously, they didn't. They fell short, way short of making the playoff. But they finally came to the promised land. Sadly, Derek Carr got hurt. But they show a lot of promise for 2017 and onward. My franchise, what if for the Oakland Raiders? What if the Raiders would have won the tuck rule game? It was the beginning of the end for the Raiders and the beginning of a dynasty for the Patriots. That game changed the whole landscape in the AFC. Of course, Tom Brady, almost every AFC title game the past 10 years has featured Tom Brady in, in it or Ben Rosenberger or Peyton Manning or Joe Flacco. But this was the beginning of the end for the Raiders and the beginning of the first Super Bowl First of five Super Bowl titles for the New England Patriots. And also, my other what if, what if the Raiders would have avoided Jamarcus Russell in the 2007 draft? There was no good quarterback in that draft, but they could have gotten Calvin Johnson, Joe Thomas, Adrian Peterson, Marshawn Lynch, Darrell Revis, Greg Olson, and so on. A lot of big names, granted, They would have not been good. I know why you go after the quarterback, but in hindsight, they could have definitely used Calvin Johnson, any of those guys. Adrian Peterson, they would have been nasty and back in the playoff before you know it if they would have not drafted the bust that is Jamarcus Russell. Going on to 2017 outlook for the Oakland Raiders. The biggest news in the offseason had nothing to do with the 2017 Raiders. The news was, of course, that they'll be moving to Las Vegas after failing to get a stadium deal in Oakland after trying so many years. The Raiders won't leave until 2019 or 2020, depending on the stadium. Raiders right now are the number one NFL team being bet on in Las Vegas to make it to the Super Bowl. Uh, No bias there, of course. (laughs) General Manager Reggie McKenzie rebuild effort was long, but it has resulted in a team position for a long run of success. Quarterback Derek Carr, wide receiver Amari Cooper, and a talented offensive line and 2016 Defensive Player of the Year. Cali Mack are the foundation of this team that will give the rest of the NFL a major headache. Uh, Adding running back Marshawn Lynch was an interesting move. We will have to wait and see how much gas he has left in the tank. But the Raiders hope, however, rests heavily on that defense that is still a work in progress. Biggest positive change, Derek Carr looks like the quarterback the Raiders were hoping he was when they drafted him. I like the Marshawn Lynch signing, but he isn't a game changer like some people are making him out to be. Hopefully he has some gas. Even if he's half himself, he'll be a great addition to the Oakland Raiders. Carr being healthy and under contract highlights that the Raiders have turned the corner and they will be a successful team here for the seasons to come. Biggest negative change, Raiders didn't lose any major pieces this offseason. Biggest staff change involved bumping up quarterback coach Todd Downing to up to offensive coordinator, unlikely to make much of a difference. Defense is still a big question mark. Jack Del Rio has turned around the Raiders, so he isn't going anywhere. His job is safe. He's not. His seat is not remotely hot, in my opinion. The Raiders' biggest hurdle is the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC West and the Patriots in the AFC in general. But then again, the Patriots is a hurdle for everybody. I would say the Raiders and the pretty much the Pittsburgh Steelers are tied for the second best team in the AFC outside of the New England Patriots. But, you know, the good news for Steelers fans and for Raiders fans, Tom Brady is 40. He's only getting older. But the bad news, for the Steeler fan, the good news for Raiders fan, Big Ben is also aging, but Derek Carr, he's young. The whole team is young for the Raiders, so the Raiders are in great position when the Steelers and the Patriots finally drop off their quarterback's inner retirement. Derek Carr will still be there, hopefully with a good offense and hopefully a better defense here next season. Preseason at Cardinals. Week 2, Rams at Cowboys, and then 
finish off the preseason home against the Seattle Seahawks. Raiders regular season game by game prediction. The Oakland Raiders have five primetime games this season at Washington on Sunday night football. Chiefs on Thursday night football at Dolphins on Sunday night football. Cowboys on Sunday night football and at Philadelphia on Monday Night Football. As always, worst case, best case scenario here, let's go through the schedule of the Oakland Raiders. September 10th at Tennessee, the Raiders kick off the season at Tennessee to play the Tennessee Titans. Worst case scenario, you lose to the Tennessee Titans. The Tennessee Titans, I believe, are going to take a big step up this season. But best case scenario, you beat the Tennessee Titans. I believe the Raiders in the end, are a better team than the Tennessee Titans, so I'll give them the W here. September 17th, home for the New York Jets. I don't think I have to say much about that. I'm a Jets fan, and there's, in my opinion, no way the Jets are beating the Oakland Raiders, so that's a win right there. September 24th at Washington Redskins. The Redskins, they got Kirk Cousin. They kind of took a slight downgrade on the offense and a little bit on the defense as well. So I'll give that win best case, worst case scenario to the Oakland Raiders. So you go into October, at worst you are 2-1, and one, at best you are 3-0. and oh. October 1st at Denver, worst case scenario, you lose to the Denver Broncos. It's kind of hard to play out there in Denver. But best case scenario, more likely you get the win here. Who knows who's going to be the starting quarterback for the Denver Bronco. It could be Pacton Lynch. It could be Trevor Simeon. I think no matter who it's going to be, it's going to be a so-so quarterback. And I just like Derek Carr and the Raiders to win that game. October 8th, home for the Baltimore Ravens. There's a lot of questions about Joe Flacco's health. I, I, I'll give that one definitely to the Oakland Raiders. October 15th, home yet again for the Chargers. I say the Los Angeles Chargers, the first time the Raiders will play the Los Angeles Chargers, they'll get the win there. October 19th, the hardest game in October for the Oakland Raiders. Home yet again, there's three home games, Ravens, Chargers, and then the Chiefs. I say worst case scenario, you lose to the Chiefs. The Chiefs are a pretty good team. I think that Derek Carr is a better quarterback than Alex Smith. That's not saying too much. So best case scenario, I can see you winning that game. Those two games against the Chiefs are probably going to decide who wins the AFC West. October 29th at Buffalo. Yeah, that's a long travel game, but Buffalo Bills, they gave up their number one right wide receiver. They're not going for it this year. They're going to be a garbage team, so the Oakland Raiders are definitely going to dominate the Buffalo Bills. So going into November, worst case scenario, you are 5-3. and three. Best case scenario, you are perfect. You are 8-0. November 5th at Miami to play the Miami Dolphins. I say that's a win as well. There was questions on the offense before Ryan Tannehill got hurt. Now you got Jay Cutler in there. Jay Cutler doesn't make you any better. That defense is good, but that defense I don't think can push that offense to a victory against the Oakland Raiders. Granted, it is another travel game. It's a primetime game as well. It could be an ugly win, but I say the Raiders will pull it out and win. November 19th in Mexico City to play the New England Patriots. I say that's a loss. I say the Patriots. Tom Brady, he could, you know, he's 40. He's getting tired by that point. If anybody has a chance of beating the Patriots this year, like I said, it's the Chiefs, it's the Steelers, and it's the Raiders. But I have to say that the Raiders will win this, or the Patriots will win this game, but I'm pulling for the Raiders. November 26th, home for the Denver Broncos. I say that's a win as well. Their quarterback situation doesn't scare me. I think that the Oakland Raiders are just a better team. Yeah, they have a scary defense, but their quarterback situation is scary also, but in a bad way. So you enter December at worst, you are 7-4. and four. Best case scenario, you are 10-1. and one. Uh, December 3rd, home for the Giants. Worst case scenario, you lose to the Giants. I like the Giants. I think they don't get enough credit. They got a really strong defense. 
They have a capable offense, but best case scenario, you beat the New York Giants. That'd be a tough game. December 10th at Kansas City, I say that's a loss. Kansas City is really hard to play in Kansas City. The stadium's extremely loud. December 17th, home for the Dallas Cowboys. I say if the Raiders lose one game this season, it will be against the Cowboys. If you listen to any of the other previews, I know I said that the Dallas Cowboys are going to take a step back, and I do think they will. But I think they'll be fighting for a wild card or that division with the Giants. They'll have a little bit more fight in on to because they'll probably have to win that game to stay, keep pace with the Giants and maybe even the Eagles in that division. And then December 25th on Christmas at Philadelphia to play the Eagles. Eagles, I like what they're doing, but I say that the Raiders are just the better team here. So I give the Raiders the win. And then they close the regular season out December 31st at Los Angeles to play the Chargers. I say that is a win as well. So best case scenario, I think that the Oakland Raiders in 2017 would go 13-3. and Best case, worst case scenario, the Oakland Raiders go 9-7. and My final prediction is 13-3. and I really, I'm really big on the Oakland Raiders. I think they're going to be really, really good this year. If anybody can beat the New England Patriots, I believe it is the Raiders. Right now, I haven't made up my mind yet, but I'm thinking right now, AFC title game, Patriots versus the Oakland Raiders. That's what I'm thinking right now. I like the Chiefs. I like the Titans. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers. A little bit the Texans, but the Texans just don't have a quarterback. The Titans are a little bit young and inexperienced. But so Kansas City, Steelers, Patriots, Raiders, I totally expect one of those fours to be in the title game and one going to the Super Bowl. So, I mean, go through it. The only games that really scare me, like I said, the Jets, the Redskins, the at least one against the Broncos, the Ravens, both games for the Chargers, Bills, Dolphins, uh, possibly the Giants, Eagles, and maybe even the Cowboys. That should get you 10 wins right there. Only games that really scare me for the um, Oakland Raiders Maybe the Titans to open up the season, you know, and they get off to a bad start. But it's hard to get off to a bad start when week two you're playing the New York Jets, one of the worst teams in the league. But like I said, the Titans, the uh, Chiefs, definitely both of those games against the Chiefs, that's going to be hard. The Patriots, that's going to be the hardest game of the season. And the Giants, Cowboys, who knows? The Cowboys might be really good. They might not go into that slump. I think Dak Prescott. Elliott or both of them will go into a sophomore slump and don't sleep on the Eagles but I say even if they all of those games are rough for the Raiders I still think the Raiders will win the majority of those games and go 13 and 3 even if they lose to the Patriots one to the Chiefs and say one to the Cowboys Giant or Titans or even the Eagles I say 13 and 3 is what the Oakland Raiders are going to do this season. So if you're a fan of the black hole, let me know what you think. Or if you hate the black hole, let me know what you think the Raiders are going to do. I'm definitely, I might be a little bit overranking the Oakland Raiders, but I really believe in the Raiders this year. I like what I've seen from the Oakland Raiders. Once again, my name is Corey Foister. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Corey Foister. Follow the show on social media. That is Twitter at Winstreak News. Facebook.com slash The Winstreak, TheWinstreak.com. Leave a review and subscribe on the podcast platform you're listening on. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Soaring Jets Productions. Contact us at SoaringJetsProductions at gmail.com or TheWinstreak.com slash contact. Join our Fantasy Football League. You can find out more information about that on our Facebook and official website. Top 10 Super Bowl matchups we want to see is now live. And like I mentioned, please check out our weekly wrap-up show. We're going to start doing also the Win Streak U. It's a college football-oriented uh, show. We're just going to have a blast. And hopefully, like I said, you laugh with us and not at us. But if you laugh at us, then, well, at least we're entertaining you either way, even if it's at our own expense. But good luck to... Everybody in Raiders Nation, I'm pulling for you. I, as a Jets fan, I don't want to see the Patriots back in the Super Bowl. 
So go Raiders, and until next time, keep winning, everybody.